Hello, future millionaires. This is Aztec, and this is the CSC. Thanks for being here. Look, today we're going to talk about Matic, Cosmos, XRP, these ecosystems, and why I think they're going to do extremely well this year. Before we get into that, let's go ahead and talk about the market. So, you guys know, if you've been following me on Twitter, circle underscore crypto. Uh, I've practically predicted everything correctly. Got my secret shirt on. Um, no, it's not a sponsorship. I've never, never held a sponsorship for this channel. But uh, I've predicted everything correctly this year. I think the only thing that was wrong was uh, Russia moving into Ukraine to keep things short. I'll just say I just didn't think they would do it for many reasons. Now, they moved in to Ukraine, and uh, it looks like it's probably going to get buttoned up soon. I'm not, a, I'm not for war. You know, I'm just saying it's what it looks like. Now, they've moved into Ukraine, but it's, it's still not... Uh, nothing's really changed on the way that I predicted the uh, macro kind of movements for Bitcoin. It, it's, it's basically the same. So... Um, you know, what are we looking at now? Uh, you know, I, I think we have volatility because there's still, you know, fear. Um, but, uh, I believe it's going to be volatility to the upside. I look at, uh, a lot of different markets and what we see is that assets are probably going to do well because fiat's dying wherever you're at, whatever country you're in. You know, your, your uh, government's probably, uh, your uh, banks, central banks are printing. And this is causing, uh, you know, fiat currencies to be devalued and this causes assets to go up. So, you know, obviously I'm just speaking extremely generally. Now, one thing that uh, a lot of people aren't looking at is the US dollar. You know, it's the world reserve currency. And why is that? It's the petrodollar, it's used for you know, the sell of uh, oil. And what we're noticing is that BRICS nations are basically trying to displace the dollar, find other means, uh, you know, either use the yuan or something else to circumvent the US dollar. What I'm seeing is probably going to be a cascading event, which causes the dollar to lose it's uh, number one peg as the you know world reserve currency, and like the Fed said, there will probably be many world reserve uh, currencies. I think crypto and CBDCs will be a large part of uh, you know, that basket. But uh, you know, as the dollar dies, guys, that's going to cause a lot of volatility. It's going to cause the uh, you know assets to possibly even skyrocket and you know you look at gold looks like it's uh, performing well and you look at the housing markets around the world performing well um, pretty much you know anything significant assets commodities um, booming because you know the, the need for them but also you know the geopolitical uh, issues around the world so uh, you know a lot of things seem to to be trending up and I believe that also is uh, bullish for crypto you know I don't like saying oh bullish for crypto but but I mean you know that term and it, you know sometimes it's used in a way that's kind of uh, inconsiderate to, to certain things but but it but it is you know guys if you if you look at it and this is a crypto video so it is bullish um, now the the thing is is you you see uh, you know what where does, does the uh, institutions the um, you know hedge funds the, the the major investors of the world where are they going to put their money guys um, look at it and a lot of billionaires are buying crypto and you can see that. Uh, some of them are eating, even adding like 20% of their portfolio, you know, crypto. 
and and that's interesting because just about a couple of years ago we were you know we were suggesting to the billionaires to the major investors to hedge funds to institutions just do one percent just do three percent but they're diving in and why why is that guys reason why is because that's the next area it's so undervalued people say we're in a bubble i mean if if there wasn't all these other things going on maybe but this is a different place in history and it's uh a you know the the crypto sector crypto sector and uh, you know it being an industry is definitely undervalued from a fundamental and adoption uh you know standpoint so money is going to flow in people are going to adopt crypto and uh, blockchain technologies and this is why uh you know crypto and blockchain will be the benefactor of you know this huge wealth transfer so basically now that we know that and we know the dollar's dying fiat's dying um people you know hedge funds investors institutions are going to be looking for the next place to put their money because a lot of other things are in bubbles you know housing is in bubble uh stocks in a bubble so from a risk standpoint you're looking for the least risky uh asset and assets is where you should have your money in you know and all this is my opinion guys none of it's financial advice so where are they going to put it well this is here's my opinion guys you got matic network it is the technology that is scaling up uh you know many institutions um, projects it's scaling ethereum you guys see you know vitalik buterin being pushed to the world as, as a savior with ethereum and uh ethereum is not going anywhere guys it's it's backed by you know consensus and some of the most important people in the world rich people in the world um it's not going anywhere i know you guys want you know your project to, to take over ethereum and be the ethereum killer but Honestly, that that was never the goal. The goal was, you know, an internet of blockchains and everyone, all the blockchains working in unison and, you know, Web 3.0. And look, guys, it, Ethereum's not going anywhere. So you got to get over that. Um, now, is it the the asset to hold most of your portfolio? In my opinion, no, because I'd rather hold something that uh, is, is probably going to outperform Ethereum. So you got Matic Network. It's doing... A bunch of things you know metaverse which is huge it's being built on the matic network so uh you look at that and you look at all the major institutions that are starting to back and the vcs you know backing matic network and things being built on it it is the go-to platform and with all the zk type solutions that should probably be built this year um uh on matic network and you know the Matic network. Um, I keep saying Matic network because I'm, you know, I'm from a time when that's when it was called. You know, obviously I'm talking about Polygon, but uh, Matic network, uh, you know, essentially is is got many different solutions that will all be on top of uh, scaling solutions all on top of Ethereum, and then you know there'll be like an interoperability protocol between all these scaling solutions, whether it's like a zk or a proof of stake type solution sitting on top of ethereum and you'll be able to move your assets to and fro from these um uh scaling solutions seamlessly it, it's a big deal okay so why is matic big because it's, it's literally working and it works and it's it's just far ahead you know on the adoption and uh scaling solution side of things especially it's scaling ethereum which is a big deal okay then you got cosmos guys Cosmos ecosystem, it has, uh, you know, technically uh, Polygon is built on the Cosmos SDK, which is, you know, Tinderbent technology. And uh, you have uh, Crypto.com, Binance Smart Chain. This is all built on top of the Cosmos SDK. Uh, so you guys you got to understand that uh, Tinderbent, which is, you know, built the underlying technology for, you know, the Cosmos ecosystem, they're a big deal. They're a really big deal. And on the adoption side for, you know, the people's money, blockchain, uh, for scaling and, um, you know, consensus and everything, 
cosmos is is amazing and you can see that because a lot of huge uh, chains have adopted the technology and are working amazingly so uh, what we see in the cosmos ecosystem is a cambrian explosion of advancements and uh, DeFi, and that's all happening right now so if you're looking for your gyms if you're looking for that early uh you know money cosmos is it uh you can still get that in the polygon ecosystem but because cosmos is so much more newer uh you, you probably have a easier uh, opportunity because there's less friction and less competition so some of these uh, projects can really shine you've seen you know the rise of osmosis and uh you know many other projects so Hey, Cosmos, great place to look for gyms, guys. And you guys know I'm a you know heavy LP -er on Osmosis, and I'll be exploring other DEXs, liquid staking solutions like uh, Peace Stake, and these kind of things further and further as their technologies are further built out. And thirdly, guys, you got XRP. XRP is the chosen uh, bridge currency between all assets for the institutions, you know, the banks. So it's just a given once that ripple case uh is is uh, solidified and you know as long as it goes appropriately for or you know in the way of ripple then ripple is like you know kind of like a football being held underwater uh you know it's and it's being held underwater because all these banks and institutions they can't really say hey we're working with ripple right now because they don't want it to come out later that you know they're that XRP was a, uh, you know, a security, and and so as soon as that tension is relieved, you got all these banks, institutions are going to pile in, start adopting the technology tenfold, um, saying that they're using it. They'll have crypto exchanges relisting XRP. Um, you know, the the court case and the momentum there. You know, all of that will there's be a ton of uh, you know media cycle around that even in traditional finance and uh, there's a lot of opportunity there. So that's why I also am really interested in XRP. In addition, uh, you know, the XRP ecosystem uh, is being built out right now. You know, they have uh, NFTs, uh, you know, uh, technology being created and um, you know, there's all the different ripple technologies that are surrounding XRP so there you go um, it's gonna be a big deal <laughs> so look guys if, if, if you're in any of these ecosystems in my opinion I think you're gonna do well for this year and I don't think the Fed or anyone can do anything against inflation because I don't even you know if you want to go deeper than that I don't think it's the plan guys you know fiat's out it, it's you know it'll always be there I guess in, in some sense but um, you know, it's it's definitely not the way where we're all trending towards this digital uh, world, economies, metaverses, um, you know, blockchains, it, all of this. It's just, it's not the thing, man. So get ready, get ready for a boom. And you can see every time we've come towards my buying levels that I've suggested back in January, the market's bounced. The only thing I think that could cause a major crash is a black swan event and no one can predict that no one can predict when or how that would happen and i don't even want to think about it but i mean it is in my opinion one of the only things that could probably cause a major sell-off in markets other than you know uh i guess russia or china doing something extremely crazy uh but we'll see We'll see, guys. I guess I guess we also have to consider China and and uh, you know their actions now after Russia, what they might do. But that's a whole other video. Never give up on the future of money. Take it easy, guys.